Okay, so the tournament starts in six days' time. There's a little matter of qualifying to the FIFA World Cup under 20. There are only two men in Zambia who've managed to do that. That's George Rwandamin, and the other one joins us online, Coach Patrick Piri, now at Lusaka Dynamos. Good evening, Coach. Good evening, sir. Thank you for joining us on Soccer Chat Match Pack. First things first. Before that team qualified to the World Cup in 1999, what were you telling the likes of Chintu Kampamba, Bernard Makufi, and uh, all those players that you had in that generation? Well, obviously it was uh, to ask them to raise the, the flag for Zambia high. Yes, coach. Yes, coach. Yes, yes. Yeah, all I was asking is to go out there and raise the, the Zambian flag high so that people can know about Zambia. Now, simply put, Beston Chambeshi has built a team that many people are actually happy to see. I'm sure you've had a look at some of the players who are playing in this generation. What do you make of them? Can we make it to another under-20 World Cup? Yes, we can surely do. Uh, the boys, I saw them play against South Africa uh, when they came back from Spain. Uh, they, they were on top of South Africa. They are in good form. They played far much better game than South Africa, and all of us are convinced they are in good form. I'm sure they will make Zambia proud. All right. Now, Coach, tell me something. Uh, the little matter of qualifying to the World Cup, subsequent under-20 teams failed to qualify between uh, 1999, the only uh, time we got to go to the World Cup under-20 under levels in 2007. What do you think has been our problem? What do you think we need to correct so that we make a habit out of going to such major tournaments like the one we are trying to go to? Well, the most important thing, of course, first and foremost, is to motivate our boys. I think our boys are as good as any any other worldwide. They've done very well. They are champions in 25. Uh, they won the COSAFA, and they've been given fantastic preparation by government. They sponsored them to Spain, one of the world's best footballing nations, and they learned a lot. When they played South Africa, Africa's powerhouse, they were on top of South Africa. Evidence that if we rally behind our boys, definitely they are going to make us proud. All right. Now, as a coach, I'm sure there's a lot of hard work that goes in behind the scenes that people don't get to know and actually see. Where do you think we need to pay attention to? We've been to major tournaments and... Would you say the problems and the challenges are somewhat the same? Yeah, yeah. I think the major part has been done. Uh, government came in and, and did something very good by sponsoring to Europe. Uh, it's not easy to sponsor a team at that le level into two uh, world's best countries. They played against Barcelona, Real Madrid, the best in the world, young stars. And from there, they learned a lot. So now what remains is just for us fans to rally behind them and give them confidence because they'll be jittery playing in front of the home fans. They've never done it before. This is the first time, but we must give them confidence so that as they go out there, they can make us proud. What, what would you like to tell the boys? They could be listening and watching you right now. You, you've played at some of the toughest venues. You've coached in Tanzania, played for Nkana, Coach at the highest level in this country, what would you like to tell those lads as they put on the Chipolo Polo kit on Sunday and take to the field against Guinea? Yeah, just to uh, assure them that we believe in them, we are confident that they are going to do it. Having done it out there in Zone 5 is evidence enough that they are as good as any other good team in Africa or in the world. They've been to the best, played against the best Barcelona, Real Madrid. So obviously, she just believe in herself and uh, uh, bring the cup home. Okay. Now, Coach, you've actually moved again, changed clubs. In, in the last 12 months, you've made headlines for 
leaving clubs twice. First it was Nakambala, now it was Forest. Now you are now at Lusaka Dynamos. Just tell us, just for the record, what motivated that decision? Well, uh, I must thank all the clubs that uh, I worked with because they gave me good support and I was successful for the targets uh, I went for. I went to Nakambala to save them. I did, not, I did not do it on my own. It was with the guidance and support of Mr. Mwale, the, the, the president of Nakambala, the sponsors, Zambia Sugar, they gave me fantastic support, and we succeeded in saving Nakambala from the legation. And when he, Forrest saw me succeed, they invited me over again to Ndola to do the same, and uh, I must thank the executive again, uh, and the sponsor, Zambia Forest. Uh, and we succeeded in, in, in surviving uh, at Forest. But this now, I think the objective is different. I'm Lusaka Dynamos now, and they're not looking at survival. They're looking at uh, bettering, maybe getting to the Champions League uh, at this stage and excelling so that we can play at the highest level. Would, would you say that was the biggest motivation factor? This is Patrick Piri, won the league before with Nkana. You'd rather be playing continental club competition. And it wasn't happening at the clubs that you were. And you finally found a club that has real ambition to go and play in the Champions League. Yeah, obviously the ambition and the challenge, I think, was more exciting and more demanding. And obviously I could not refuse because it borders on national glory. We have never won the championship, African Champions League, and this is their objective. So obviously I had to rush because I want to bring glory to Zambia, just like Sundown, TP Mazambia have done for Congo. So I want also a replica in Zambia. So if a team comes with these objectives, I will not hesitate. I definitely I will rush there and, and try to contribute for this noble and fantastic cause for Zambia. Now, Coach, you, you've inherited a team that was relegated last year and will be playing Division 1 uh, as, uh, at this rate. But maybe if the league is expanded to 20 teams, then you'll play Super League. People are a little bit surprised, don't you think, moving from a Super League team to a team that has gone to Division 1? Yeah, I think what is important is the objective and the direction. I think at Lusaka Dynamos now, uh, the objective is big. They want, we, they want to uh, not only excel in Zambia, they want to excel in, in Zambia and go and excel in Africa. I think this is, I think is the attraction for me. I really want to be part and parcel of this ambitious program. I'm very excited here at Lusaka Dynamos. Everything is changed uh, uh, and the, the euphoria is totally different. Okay, now t tell me something. Do you finally feel that you're at home six months from now or in 2018? Do we expect you to, to change teams? What if Ezesco comes knocking? What if Simba or Yanga or one of these big teams in the continent that can give you that high-level football come knocking? Are you going to leave Lusaka Dynamos again? Well, like I told you, I went to Nakambala to save them from the litigation. And I, I achieved that objective. It's just like a fire tender when it is called to go and distinguish fire. When it has done the job, it cannot pack up the scene. It has to go back. Because it, comes, it becomes an inconvenience to stay on the scene when it has finished the job. So here, I think what I've said is that we want to see Lusaka Dynamos excel in Zambia, excel in Africa. When that job is done, then of course we can look at other dimensions. All right. Thank you very much, Coach. But just before I let you go, what kind of football do we expect from Patrick Peary? Is it football as we know it, or we are going to see different football? We've seen some international players joining Lusaka Dynamos. Are you tempted to change your philosophy somehow and try it with how it works with these experienced players you've managed to acquire? Obviously, if you want to, do, to be the best, you must get the best. Definitely, we have fantastic players in Zambia. The likes of Collins in Besuma, Felix Katongo, Chamanga, uh, to, name, to name a few. But our great players right now are attached to other big teams in Africa. It is totally impossible to get in Besuma, Chamanga in China. It is, you can't get him. So if we can get our boys to achieve what we want, we can do just like Tipi Mazembe and Sundowns is doing. We should go out there and get the Mwene 
of Kenya, of Uganda, of Nigeria, of, of Ghana, our money is sundown, in sundown, bringing glory to South Africa. So we must learn from them. Also get great players from Africa and bring them to Zambia. The glory will be ours. Okay, I, I know I said finally, but just one, uh, two more issues, Coach. When you say that, uh, Lusaka Dynamos has been known to be a club that produces young players and gives them a chance to play. Would you say with this new ambition that the club has, young players will not have a big opportunity like they used to have in the past now because you've got a checkbook that can bring some of the continent's best talents? No, 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 no. Uh, we are not going to depart totally from the culture of the club. Lusaka Dynamos, like you have said, is known for producing young stars into going to the big team. But what has changed is that we are still producing the young stars, but they're not, they won't go now to other big teams. They will produce young stars and still play for Lusaka Dynamo. But apart from that, then we are going to invite other good players outside Zambia who are going to partner up with our young stars and then make a solid and very strong team for Lusaka Dynamo. Now, finally, coach, we've seen a lot of foreign coaches coming through, Krimpotic coming through, uh, Zesco United in Dola, there's a foreign coach there, at uh, Buildcon, there's a foreign coach. Is this good for football? Is the security of tenure for the local coaches uh, assured? Do you like what you are saying? Yeah, this is the dimension we are missing in our game. Our game was growing, but it was stunted because we only stuck to locals. But now that the professionals and outsiders and local other coaches are coming in, our football is going to grow uh, very fast uh, and in, in leaps and bounds. Uh, and our own good coaches, like George Rwanda, Mina, is out there in, 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 in Tanzania. So why shouldn't we invite other foreign coaches to come and coach in our country? So it is good for us because we're going to learn from these other coaches. They give us another dimension which we don't know. And then our, 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 our football will grow from one, one dimension to another. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking time to speak to us. Coach Patrick Piri, Lusaka Dynamos Football Club.